Hi, this is Derek Murphy from creativeindy.com. I'm going to make this video to show you a little bit about uh, how to make your own 3D box sets for anthologies or omnibuses that you see on Amazon. Um, they look basically like this, so they'll have a front cover for the omnibus and then a bunch of spines. There's different ways to do it. Um, there's some Photoshop actions and templates, which I'll show you. I've tried, I made a video a couple years ago showing you how to make these in my own online book cover tool. The point was I was trying to make a way to, to do this without having Photoshop, but actually that wasn't a successful project. So really you need to have Photoshop um, or at least a program that can do some basic um, things with perspective like you can in Photoshop. So some of these have a top of the box, some of them just have a front and then the spines. Um, some of them like some of the fancy ones, Percy Jackson or Narnia just has a box without even showing the spines. So there's different ways of doing this, and I don't think the quality, the, the quality of the cover matters and the design helps. Like this is a much nicer looking design, but actually it's about perceived value. So this one's just front cover and a lot of spines. I've seen them with like 20 spines, which just increases the perceived value. So there's different ways of doing this. Um, if you don't have Photoshop, I recommend going to Fiverr.com because you can get someone to do this for you. You just need to prepare uh, the spines and the front cover art and somebody else will do this for you cheaply, um, which is an easy and pretty cheap solution. So even, I mean, even though I know how to make these in Photoshop, I might do that sometimes just because it's easier. But I did want to learn how to do it myself in Photoshop um, so I'm going to be doing this set, which is a cover I made a while ago. It has 12 versions. Oops. Uh, and so all I've done is I made an omnibus cover, which just says omnibus and season or episodes 1 through 12. That's here. And so I'm just going to drag this in. This one, because it has 12 episodes, normally you could start with like a, a box shape, probably 6 inches at 300 dpi, but I made this one a little wider because I'm going to have a lot of spines. So with the front cover, all you need to do is go to Edit, Transform, Perspective, and you can kind of just put it where you want. And then I'll also use Free Transform, make it a little thinner this way. Let me do that again. I think the um, the angles don't matter that much. It's not going to be completely realistic when you have this amount of spines. You want to show off the cover pretty well, and you want to show off the spines also. So then I just took the front cover art, and I made all these spines. Um, I just moved it around and put the text sideways, and I put all the numbers in. Um, and then I turned all those into one big image which I'll add to Photoshop, it looks like that. And so again, I can just go to Edit, Transform, Perspective. And you want to try to be matching these up. We'll see how well I did that. Um, so that matches pretty well, close enough. If it's not perfect, no one's really going to notice, um, but then I need that to fit, so I'm going to use Free Transform again. What I probably should have done, um, if I had made these thinner, I don't like how it makes these circles narrow, but with this many spines, with 12 spines, it's hard to avoid. And then I'm going to need to change my perspective a little bit more. So I could make this wider, but you don't really want a, a very wide picture for your Amazon graphic. So I'll probably actually just make the front cover a little smaller.
So that's pretty simple to do in Photoshop, um, and it will make you a 3D box set cover that looks pretty good. It depends on having the you know really nice um, design for the cover and the spines. That helps a lot. Uh, but already this is you know about what you would see on Amazon, and it looks good. So I could save that, and I'd be done. But I'll show you another one. Uh, there's also a way to do this with actions or templates. And so I'll show you, let's see, hold on a sec. So there's a site that's um, this one, which is Cover Vault. Cover Vault has some great um, Photoshop files. So this one's actually free and it's a box set. It's really nice for three covers and three spines. Um, so you could download that one. I'll add the link below the video. But because this is a, because the box that I'm working on actually has 12 covers, I would have to make that three box, three book set and then I'd have to duplicate it four times and I'd have to um, move it around to try to make it look really good. So I went ahead and actually just bought um, the advanced package. See if I've already got it open. Um, so this is a 12 book box set. I paid maybe 40 bucks from the same site um, to get a box set that looks like this. This is more typical of a Photoshop template, so all I need to do is replace some of the files here. Um, so over here in my Layers panel, I can just click on this Spines area, and that opens up this, so then I can drag my Spines file. It may not line up perfectly, but I'm going to hope it's close enough. Yeah, it's a little bit off. Um, maybe if I move this aside a little bit. Anyway, we'll try that and we'll see how well it works. So with Photoshop templates like this, all I need to do is close this one and it allows me to save. And if I save that layer, it will automatically be applied into the template. And um, because of the shadows of the template, I'm worried that these, because mine's a little bit off, it may not work perfectly. Um, so what I may need to do is go back and add them one by one. It doesn't look so bad, but it's a little bit off. Um, so then I'll also need to go to the box cover. And that's where I'll add my anthology. So I just dragged that one in. And I'll close that file and save it. So using um, templates like this, they'll usually end up with a, a little bit of a classier, high quality um, 3D box image. But like I said, it cost me 40 bucks, and that's because if I wanted to make a 12 book um, box set, it saves me a lot of time. But actually, you could get someone on Fiverr to do this. And I think I need to add one more file for this um, front part. And then even if I didn't go through and, I mean, really I could just add the spines one by one because I already have those files. But um, if I didn't, actually I think I'm supposed to add book one there.
I'm just making sure I get to the edge here. And I'll close this. And then my box set should be pretty done. I'll probably go back um, and I'll add these spines one by one just to make sure it's as perfect as it can be. Uh, but that's already a nice looking box set. So I can compare that to um, this one. And really, I mean, there's not a huge difference. Some people might actually prefer this one and it was easier and I didn't have to buy a template. So either one um, would be a good option. For a 3D box set, um, I mean, for a three book box set, it's probably easier. You can just use something like, I think it's this template, uh, which looks really nice and was free on that site, which again, I'll link to down below. So I hope this video helps a little bit if you need to do something like this in Photoshop. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.